Hello, this is Glenn Shoulders with ICDE, and today I will show you how to create a bouncing ball in Photoshop. First, go to Window, Workspace, Motion to create the animation workspace in Photoshop. Then click Create Frame Animation to create your first frame. Make a new layer and put in the floor or ground with the rectangle tool. Then make a ball with the ellipse tool. Hold down shift to make sure the ball is perfectly round. Change the fill color to something other than the ground. And then move the ball to wherever you want to drop it. I want to drop it in the center, so I leave it in the center. Make a new layer, drop the ball a little bit. Make a new layer, drop the ball a little bit. Make a new layer, drop the ball a little bit and then start increasing the pace of the ball's drop by increasing the distance between each ball on each frame. Then this seems to be like a good place to hit. So I hit the, the floor right there and I'm going to now make a new layer or a new frame and then make a new duplicate layer of the ball then delete the visibility of the new ball on all the prior frames. Get rid of the visibility on the original ball on the new frame. And then apply the principle of squash and stretch by squashing the ball right now. I'm going to do that by clicking Control T for Windows or Command T for Mac. And then make a new layer, or make a new frame, make a new duplicate layer, and then get rid of the visibility of the new ball on all the prior frames, get rid of the visibility of the old ball on the new frame, then continue the squash principle. And I think that's good. So now we'll go move on to the stretch principle. So I'm going to duplicate this layer on a new frame. Get rid of the old ball on the old frames. Get rid of the old ball on the new frame. Then do the stretch principle. Repeat these steps. I think that looks pretty good. So then make a new layer, get rid of the stretch and squash principle balls, and then go to the original ball, and then make a new layer, bring it back up. And this is the bounce up again, so up, up, and then kind of slow it down as it gets to the top because the ball is going to slow down obviously as it goes up because of gravity. And then press play, and there you go. There is a bouncing ball. I could obviously work on it more to make it seem more realistic and make it smooth, but that is the basic idea. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day and please like, comment and subscribe for more ICDE videos.